It's called the Siege of Jadotville, uh, and it's about 150 Irish soldiers who were UN peacekeeping troopers who were sent into the town of Jadotville in the Congo in 61 to protect the locals from a civil uprising. But the town was full of mercenary soldiers, the private army, and they got surrounded like by 3,000 of these guys, and they basically fought them off for five days. But they run out of ammunition and supplies and medication. And eventually, after having killed like nearly 400 of these mercs and none of the Irish being killed, they agreed to a ceasefire and arrived back to Ireland. Having fought like heroes, they were treated like cowards. How do you take all the historic stuff and then make it a piece of cinema out of it? Because it's not a documentary. Um, I mean, it starts, to be honest, quite naturally with just a lot of research. And, you know, I spoke to a lot of the soldiers, a lot of historians, read up a lot about it. And you, everybody has a slightly different story, but you start to find a path through it. And then it's really about how you sculpt that into three acts. And the cinema of it, you know, the, 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 to engage that audience and have them invested, you, you know, you take certain aspects of it. And, you know, in the original battle was more like skirmishes all over the place. And, Nobody knew what was going on, but to help the audience understand a battle like that, we brought it all to one place to give it that big dramatic finale. So that's kind of how you, that's the cinema aspect of it, I suppose. So I'd like to think that we kept very close to, historically, to the truth. That was, that was the mission from the beginning. The entire project probably took the journey is about seven years in total. Um, it started with that little discovery in a paragraph and then I worked with a writer for nearly four years, just in solitary with them. Uh, Leo Quinlan got in touch and he was really interested in helping. So he added a whole level because he was able to give us a lot of information about the central character, his dad, because the book that I had optioned really was just bullet points. It was like an academic account, a historic account. So it was great for like beats in the story, but it had nothing about the central character. So Leo was really good at coming along and helping with that. And then when Alan read the script and got involved, that's kind of when it really kicked off. It's a, it's a, a difficult story um, that is, I think, a little controversial in parts. It's a brave film. Um, and I guess Richie is a, 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 obviously a vastly experienced director, but has never made a movie before. And to take such a complex story out to the world um, is a brave thing to do. And so to have the might of Netflix behind us and to have the access that that offers us, you know, Netflix has 81 million subscribers around the world, which is an extraordinary reach. So for us to be able to tell what was an unknown story about unknown Irish heroes and get it out into the world like that is an extraordinary opportunity.